Hi, this is Cyber Remote Homes Devon Branch and on this beautiful uh, spring-like early April 2023 day we're doing a quick walk around video on this literally just arrived as a buy-in 2019 Compass Avantgarde 155 so this is a van we sold new to its one and only owner but he's never really used it uh, we just picked it up from his storage compound today it's done a grand total of 900 miles so we'll check it exactly but it's under a thousand miles on this one so it's an absolute cracker so it's registered late 2019 so it's two and a half year old and it's immaculate as you would as you would expect from a vehicle that's uh, that's, that's not done any miles at all really so compass are part of eldis and compass and eldis are part of the wider german heimer group but compass are britain's second biggest motorhome manufacturer and the compass avant-garde range is an exactly the same range and vans as the eldis autoquest so bar the color scheme and the badge they are identical they do that so we can have more dealers so i can be a compass dealer whereas i couldn't be an eldis dealer because there's one up the road from me basically but they are apart from the color scheme and the badge exactly the same um so the 154 Five, great selling van, fixed bed, low profile, narrow body, only 6.997 metres long, uh, three and a half tonne with a big payload, um, nice simple fixed bed layout but with seat belts and the twin sofa lounge, so these are really popular. Uh, so this van is priced at 49.95 with its 900 miles. New one today, if you look in, well, even they've gone up again since these, but these are the lower spec and that's 66. So today's increased prices, you're going to be over 70,000 to this spec. Um, so it's a really good buy this, you're saving 20,000 pounds for 900 miles. And they don't do the 7 metre shell anymore, they only do a 7.3, uh, which you don't really gain anything with the uh, French bed, side bed, uh, by making it longer. So uh, it's an absolute crack of a sum on this one. Let's have a little walk around the outside. So they're based on the Peugeot box, so this will be, I think, the 2 litre 130 horsepower engine. Uh, I think the 2.2 came in a little bit later than this. It's a 2 litre 130, 6 speed manual, very light clutch and gearbox, really, really nice to drive, very economical. It's a very light van, so it'll be very good on fuel. Um, smart fully color coded it's got all the factory options this was the van we ordered for stock so it's got all the stuff that was worth having because that's how we order ours so it's got factory alloy wheels so obviously it's just come in so it's a bit bit mucky but it's immaculately clean inside and we'll wash it off of course outside double glazed windows and it is a grade three fully winterized van um on the outside uh the non-setting ceiling does suck in a bit of pollutants from the air we'll clean that up but it will show some sort of black speckles on her uh, but she's a nice shiny very clean van so we've got color coded door handles we've got them smart eldest factory alloys compass factory alloys digital directional tv aerial on the roof fiamma awning gas locker for two six or seven kilo color gas bottles or we can fit gas low refillables at a price if you wish that's an underbed storage locker i didn't bring the keys out with me actually i should have but we'll see the storage there from the inside and that's the uh, bedroom window there Coming around the back, we've got your mains hook up and your leisure battery in there. Fresh water fill up point there and your set cassette dump point for your corner washroom. And up high, we've got high level reversing camera which feeds into a factory fitted mirror mounted monitor. Coming around the driver's side, we've got the drain points for your fresh water tank and your waste water tank. Um, this one's got the factory fitted microwave which is ventilated to the outside there. Fridge vent for your three way fridge freezer and your kitchen window and your lounge window uh, there's not a mark on it i'm gonna have to go around the other side to do the cow specs i'm not quite gonna squeeze through that gap i'm afraid so let's just dive around there but she is she's a lovely lovely van in fairness just the right size not too big not too daunting for getting around the country lanes but enough comfort and storage space for an extended tour if you wanted to uh, we've also got this very slightly used compass 194 there which i've done a separate video of on a 22 plate so cap spec wise it's got all the nice spec on it so we've got factory fitted remis concertina blinds on the side and the, the windscreen electric windows electric mirrors heated mirrors Steering wheel controls for your Bluetooth Peugeot stereo system. We've got air conditioning, cruise control, speed limiter, and your high level reversing camera monitor there. So that's all good. Swivel cab seats, that's all spot on. 
So let's dive in, have a look at the inside. There's not a mark on the outside, just needs a wash off. So coming in through the door, we've got a double glazed window for light, a couple of storage bits in there, a little sweetie tin down there, fly screen door, low step to get in. This is on the Peugeot Motome chassis, so it is a lowered chassis anyway, so you don't need an electric step, that's built in. And you come straight into a very British take on the fixed bed motorhomes. We've got twin sofa lounge to the front, these have got seat belts beneath. Nice light wood, and a nice wide, for a narrow van, it's got a nice wide fixed bed. So these are only 2.2 wide, so they are narrower than the competition, which tend to be 2.3 or 2.35. Um, plenty of floor space around the kitchen, big wardrobe. Yeah, really, really nice thing. So, let's have a little look here, starting at the front. So, twin parallel sofa lounge. These will pull together to make a double bed, or you can pull them out slightly, rotate your cab seats, put your feet on there, and you've got twin single beds. So if you're going with guests who don't want to cohabitate or older children, then you can do. These simply lift up to access the storage and the seats underneath, or you can fold down those. And of the seats, I don't know if you can quite see, under there they've never been used, but you've got, that one's never been used. That one might have been. So underneath of there, there's two Agouti, seat belted seats so you fold these up that folds down pull a couple of levers and you end up with two forward facing crash tested seat belted passenger seats now you wouldn't want to do a 10,000 mile drive in them but for most of my customers who sometimes go away with the grandkids absolutely perfect in fairness to it but it will take adults as well and they're independent so you're not scrammed right next up next to someone else we got storage over the cab, big opening skylight, <coughs> nice light wood finish, two-tone cabinet work, very deep storage up there as you can see, big windows with blinds and fly screens on, we've got some up lighters, spot lighters. Really good kitchen, again lots of floor space, so by having the bed on the side you can move the bathroom to the back and you gain a lot of floor space. So for the kitchen we've got flip up worktop, clip on draining board which goes on there. Under counter three way fridge freezer that's absolutely immaculate. A nice deep sink up there, two main sockets, and then a factory fitted microwave, which was one of the factory fitted options. We've got a proper oven, separate grill, three gas burner hob, loads of drawer space for your utensils and food and stuff. Another cupboard under there, and two big cupboards up here where you can put your plates and things. So that's really, really good. Opposite that is a really big wardrobe. So as you come in the door here, the reason this wardrobe is so big is because you've got whale heated. Now it's not runoff of whale blah, but that would be highly illegal. So it's a uh, system from a company called Whale, who are a Northern Irish company, and it's a blown air heating system. It runs off gas if you're not hooked up, or mains electric if you are hooked up. Uh, the advantage of it is it bolts under the floor of the van. So whereas in the past you'd have had a, a big Ratley fireplace there, or a big boiler in there, and uh, this, the heat is underneath the floor, so that means you've got huge storage space here. So we've got absolutely massive wardrobe space. Freestanding table that you can put to the front. I'm quite sure what's in there. That's in there, and we've got some little sticky things for sticking stuff on with. And what the other stuff is, yep, got some bits of detritus, shelves down there, TV aerial pole and booster box. Customers left a mains TV in, it is only a mains one, I only work on the mains, we don't check or guarantee that, but, uh, but anyway it's, it's there, it's just a sharp one, only a basic one. Nice, comfortable memory foam mattress and then storage underneath. So you can access this from the outside or from the inside. So I'll just have to hold it up because the TV's on it. You can see there, it's a really good storage space. Now, advantage of this, that's quite narrow. If you're the person sleeping on that side, it's easy enough to get out of the bed through there, which isn't always the case with these side beds, these French beds. But it does save a lot of space because it means you can put your bathroom 
down alongside of it. Now it is a narrow body van this, you're not going to get a traditional separate shower in a van of this width alongside a fixed bed, but they've got the next best thing. So this door will come across here, when you close this door, which is all waterproof, you've got a sort of separate shower space, I would say, I would say it's no curtains. Flip down basin to save room, big storage locker above, your normal set toilet down there. It is a little bit on the narrow side, but so is the van, and that makes all the difference down the country lanes. Plenty of storage above there, shelves for your tea, big opening window, decent opening skylight, and your TV at the foot of the bed that can also swing around to face the front. I also like the fact that you can segregate the front from the back to use as a dressing area, or for a bit of privacy by pulling that across, which is a really good idea as well. Now, once you've had your shower, are you ready to go out? You've got a really nice tall mirror there with a light above and a plug socket down there so you can stand there and dry your hair or whatever. So it's absolutely immaculate. It's 49.95. It's 20 odd grand less than the equivalent new today, which is also unnecessarily bigger than it. Uh, it's a Compass Avant Guard 155 on a 69 plate. It's got a TV aerial, it's got an awning, a reversing camera, cab blinds, alloy wheels, and a microwave, all of which were factory options. So it's a good spec. Call us about it today on 01626 832 792. If we're out here doing videos or talking to customers, call the mobile 07432 662558. Visit us at the website highbridgecaravans.co.uk or come and see us at Highbridge Caravans, um, Teen Grace, Newton Abbott, Devon. That's just off the South Devon Expressway, which is the main dual carriageway between Exeter and Plymouth, not long after the M5 ends. Very, very easy to get to. So come and see us real quick and ask us about this Compass Avant Garde 155 late 2019 at uh, 49.95. Thank you.